Hello Aries, this is your reading for November to uh, 2017. And if you are if you are a sun, moon, or rising Aries, this spread is for you. If you are on the cusp of a Pisces Aries, you may want to see both uh, my Pisces video and this one to see if it resonates with you. Okay, because these might not resonate with everybody. If you would like your own personal tarot reading from me, you can click on my website below in the description bar and you can order a reading from me. Okay, I give tarot readings, numerology readings, feng shui consultations, etc, etc. <laughs> okay, so I already shuffled and concentrated on your cards just now and I laid them out. And uh, what, I, what you see here is in your work and career category, I pulled the Nine of Cups next to the Ace of Coins. For your money and finance, I drew the Ten of Wands next to the Ten of Swords. For your family, I had drew the Ace of Cups next to the Three of Cups reversed. For love and relationships category, I drew the Emperor reversed next to the Queen of Cups reversed. I know a lot of reversals here. For your unexpected, I drew the Eight of Swords reversed. <laughs> and your advice card is the Ace of Wands. So a lot going on here. A lot that I pick up here already. Um, don't get discouraged. Let me explain. <laughs> um, I know everybody thinks reversals are always bad, but they don't always mean bad, especially if the card that is mainly a negative card. If it's reversed, it usually means the opposite. So, um, and again, readings are not 100% correct. The, you know, the energy is constantly changing and shifting. So um, readings are always us, you know, they can always change at any time. So I'm going to start with your work category and with the nine of cups and the ace of coins. So overall works looks very positive with the nine of cups and the ace of coins. And I feel that this combo shows a lot of satisfaction when it comes to getting what you want, a lot of uh, wish fulfillment, a lot of contentment. Um, I feel some of you may feel that work is going pretty well overall. Um, or maybe just it's, it's just been very a very balanced month. You know, we are in the middle of the month. You know, it's uh, positions are being filled. Like if you're a business owner, you've hired people, you haven't had a problem too much there. Um, for some of you, this could mean uh, possible promotions or good uh, big bonuses, um, just making a lot of sales. And a lot of you will be pretty productive or you have been and just feeling good for the most part. Okay, achieving what you desire, you know, landing your dream job. Maybe some of you have done that. Um, starting your own business is it goes pretty well also just feeling more relaxed um, feeling as though wishes are coming true uh, getting along with co-workers or your boss I see a lot of improvements overall and a lot of new beginnings um, it's like you're achieving better results than the previous months if you own your own business I feel like uh, your business seems to be growing or expanding, okay? Feeling very stable and secure in your job. I think I said that already. <laughs> um, if you're looking for work, most likely you should see or hear some good news soon. Um, you will most likely get the job or position that you were hoping for, or maybe it's in the works for you. So you know it's coming. Um, maybe you just might not have started it yet, but it's leading to there or you already know you're going to get it and you're just not, maybe you just didn't start just yet. Okay. This is a good time to begin a new job or begin a new business. For those of you who are, um, even if the business is in the beginning stages, I feel like there's still some kind of fru fruition. You know, there's, it's something is growing a, a new project, a new opportunity. Um, just a lot of focus on work and career matter matters, especially towards the end of the month. Also, that's when things really start to unfold for you. Okay. Um, so just keep aware of that. Now with your money and finance, I know this looks bad, <laughs> but let me explain. Okay. With two tens, let me move my microphone. Yes, I use a microphone. Let me move it. Okay. I'm gonna take my sweater off. It's a little nice today had the window open today okay so with two tens as I was saying this actually symbolizes completions and endings to something so what I'm seeing here is the struggle and burden of financial problems or issues is nearing completion so this is actually good news in a way there's different meanings and I will say them you know because the ten of wands is feeling burdened okay 
being taxed to the limit. You know, you're doing too much, too much stress, too much pressure, doing everything the hard way, you know, nothing coming easy for you when it comes to finances. But the 10 of swords is bottoming out, okay? Sometimes it means feeling at your at the lowest point. Sometimes it means self-pity. Um, sorry about that. Hit my leg on the table. Sometimes it means hitting rock bottom, etc. Or and sometimes it means that the worst has already happened. Things can only suddenly get better now. Okay. Um, so the tens in general are completion. For some of you, this could be meaning that the rest of this month you will or might be still feeling the leftover sting of the burdens and hard work that was already going on like you're just kind of nearing ending that it's almost coming close okay it's almost coming close to the end and there may not be as much money gain this month but money loss and hardship is starting or has started to fade somewhat okay leaving you to come into a more better month for December. So try to remember that hard work will pay off, okay? It's better to have, I will say this, it's better to have the Ten of Swords coming after rather than before, okay? But this pair still represents the end state of burdens and tough times for some of you. Now, completion is not always positive, okay? There's a little twist here. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the path we, that we go on leads to failure, regardless of how much we tried. And, and that's normal, you know? Without, without success, there can't be failure. Without failure, they can't, there can't be success. And usually, it is a sign that we need to walk away and start again, okay? And I know that's easier said than done. That's way easier said than done. But the task is over and then you kind of realize when it's time to move on, okay? So the ideal is the positive tens, like such as the 10 of cups and the 10 of coins or pentacles are usually the positive completions. And then you have, when you have the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords are more negative completions. So you completed going through a negative hardship, but there still can be some challenges, okay? So another possibility here could be that some kind of strategy of making money might not be working because it's obviously been dragging you down and maybe this is why your work category shows something new unfolding and so the old ways are kind of like dying off and the new ways are being offered to you since the ace of and i say that because the ace of coins is about new opportunities all aces are new things new beginnings okay so you know that either hardships are dying or that some new opportunity or changes of how you're acquiring money will be hitting you in the, in the face, kind of like, okay, this month. And I feel like it will be your choice whether or not you decide to accept what is being offered to you, okay? So, you know, really think about the decision that you want to make. I mean, again, work looks pretty good here. So maybe this is just you trying to get out of that job before you start this new one and you just have to do a lot of stuff to before you go to the new one, you know? Or maybe you're finishing up your school, your, you know, your grad, you know, well, it's not really graduation time around now, but for some people, you know, you're ending a, a semester soon, you know, there's just a lot of hard, because not everybody is actually working yet. And again, if you're not working, this could be your spouse that's going through this, okay? Or your significant other could be going through this. This is still going to affect you. Because again, some people are stay-at-home parents or you work from home and you work for yourself. So, but normally uh, what I meant to say is this, because not everybody works or they don't have to work. So just some of you might be feeling this going on with the person that you are with. That's the main provider, okay? So that could be what's going on too, because everybody, you know, some people out there might be like, well, I don't work. So what does this mean for me? This could mean that the main provider that lives in the home or wherever your income is coming from, this could stem from that as well. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Now we're gonna go to your family category. Interesting. Okay, so with family, um, with the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups reversed. Hmm. I'm getting that you may, or some of you may experience a lack of support about something that you are happy about, but others, not so much. Maybe some of you found out you're pregnant, 
but your spouse or significant other isn't happy about it. Maybe they wanted to wait to have a baby and it just happened and you're like, I'm keeping it. Um, or maybe your family isn't happy about it, but your spouse is, okay? Maybe an engagement to someone is being looked down upon or not accepted by others in the, you know, or other family members. Or some of you might have maybe started a new relationship and other people are not happy about it. Like for example, maybe your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend met someone new or, you know, or maybe you married someone new and you're not happy about um, this new person. Another example, let's say your ex-husband's new wife or girlfriend is not who you accept because you don't, or you may not agree with the way she, she is with your children. Okay, maybe you have children together. Okay, that could be just an example, not saying that's only what I see. Or um, maybe your widowed parent married someone new and you don't approve of this person. Okay, it could be any of these reasons because the Ace of Cups in general, it symbolizes love. It symbolizes pregnancy. It can symbolize a marriage or a new emotion, etc. But the Three of Cups reversed represents like troubles with others or trouble in friendships, troubles with other people, sometimes peer pressure. Again, this is in your family slash home category. That's why I'm, I'm really gearing that it could be either a friend of the family or just an ex-husband, ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend, or your, your, da your dad or your mom's new husband. It could be any of these reasons, or maybe it's your new brother-in-law you don't like. Maybe it's your sister-in-law you don't like. Okay. Like, you know, it, the Three of Cups also can refer to groups of friends, like maybe your groups of friends who don't like your new girlfriend or your new boyfriend, for example. Maybe your friend cheated on his wife or girlfriend recently and you're not happy about this. And of course, who wouldn't, who would be, you know, unless the, the person's group of friends were all in, in, in on it too, you know? <laughs> maybe somebody cheated on their, um, bachelor party <laughs> or maybe you're the woman and all your girlfriends hate your boyfriend or new boyfriend because they don't like his demeanor or behavior okay this could all be part of all of these reasons here so sometimes this combo can also refer to jealousy over a new relationship or a pregnancy like wishing you were pregnant but you're not and your friend is etc um someone may be jealous of your newfound happiness even if it has nothing to do with romance it could just be maybe your sister or brother is just jealous that you're doing so well with money and they're not and they have to keep going back to mom and dad while you're just like living your life you know um that could be it too another possibility though is your spouse or significant other is not a very supportive of something new that you started that brings you happiness. It could be a new hobby. It could be a new car you got. Maybe they don't agree with it. So, so there's some kind of new happiness that someone isn't supporting around you, okay? And again, this is in your home and family, so it could be more emphasized in that category. So now this could also be that some of you moved recently and you're having trouble making or maintaining friendships, like making you feel lonely, or that you just had a baby maybe, and maybe you are a new mother, and you're realizing that your new obligations and new responsibilities to your newborn baby, which is normal, but it's kind of making you feel a little bit depressed because maybe your social life has started to become a little stagnant and doormat, you know, and that, that does happen when you have a baby, I'm a mom. <laughs> and maybe you just miss going out on the weekends, like even though you know it's worth it to be a mom, it's just maybe you're just kind of, seeing all your friends on their social media talk about how we had fun at the club the other night and you're sitting there with a newborn baby tired as hell and you just wish that your social life wasn't the way it was at the moment, you know? But it does change. For all you new mothers out there, it does get better, don't worry. It is hard, I understand. Um, but this could also be a social connection you know, that you miss, you know? Because, you know, really social connection is not always about fun because you know it's also essential to our well-being so that's why it can make um 
a difference, you know, when spending time with people. So just be aware of this. Keep this in mind. Again, this is the middle of the month now, so it could already, it, all of this all, might have already passed, so let me know. Now with your love and relationships category, this is interesting. So what we have here is the Emperor is reversed and the Queen of Cups is reversed. Now, the Emperor Upright is usually the card that signifies authority, stability, uh, usually a father, a father type figure, uh, structure and power. The Queen of Cups Upright is a card about a personality about being intuitive. She's very sensitive. This person's very empathic. They're psychic and very loving, etc. But because they come out reversed in your love and relationships, um, I feel like these both are showing a possible issue with being or someone is being too controlling. Someone is being too egotistical and a possible abusing of their power whether or not this is someone a lot of you are dealing with or it's maybe it's you who is acting this way i also pick up from this that some of your emotional boundaries might be a little too weak right now or that you've been given i feel like some of you are giving up your power because this combo can represent your boundaries may be too weak it's like a sudden I want to say it's like a sudden submission going on between you and someone like like you're submitting to somebody not I, I mean if you if you're happy that way okay but maybe you had the control before like always had more control with the people that you've always been with in your other relationships until you got with this other person and then suddenly you're lost or gave up your control um hmm that's interesting being that you're an Aries. <laughs> Another meaning is um, that it's possible a relationship, whether it's friendship or love, doesn't matter. It's possible that a relationship is no longer following the rules. And it's like you and this other person are kind of like not caring about anything or that it's just, it's become sort of disorganized and a lot of immaturity kind of mixed into the mix like it lacks discipline I guess that's what I want to say and some of you Aries women might be with a very controlling man and even though Aries in general usually has the more controlling characteristics I will say it looks like either the tables have been turned especially if this man is another Aries as well, or if he's a water sign, sun, moon, or rising, like Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, etc. This can also mean that the relationship is on a fine line of falling apart unless things get back in control or back on track because, you know, this shows it is, it is, it's in a very big state of chaos, especially emotional chaos. And this could also represent an abusive relationship, especially a verbal abusive relationship, which is just as bad, by the way, okay? And in some cases, I'm gonna throw this in. There I go again. Abuse is abuse. It doesn't matter whether, whether it's physical or emotional, it's still abusive. But the problem with, and I think, I don't know, I might've said this in another video, but when you're in an abusive relationship that's more verbal than physical, sometimes the verbal is even worse because when you're physically abused, you're, you, you, you see it in front of your eyes what's going on. Not that, I mean, there's still people that stay in them. I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't. I, I'm not saying you should deal with that. But when you're verbally abused, you're not seeing the bruises. You're not seeing the physical pain. Even though you are getting physical pain, emotion, stress, you know, intimidation that it, 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 it throw it, you go through hell with just, a, a, it's the same as verbal abuse, just as physical abuse. But when you're only verbally abused, which is just as bad, but you're not seeing those bruises. So you're in fact, even more blind to the abuse that you're getting because in your mind somewhere in your head you're thinking to yourself well i don't see any bruises on me so it must not be that bad you know he hasn't ever hit me before it may not be that bad oh it's bad honey and it, and, and and trust me it will get worse it will become to the physical 
because when he or she eventually realizes that it's been so and so this many years and they've gone this long without having to hurt you and then they suddenly do it, well, they may think you won't leave anyway. And so it turns eventually into that anyway, okay? So, you know, verbal abuse can be just as bad because it's like the person is then be more blind to what's going on because they're using that excuse. Well, he's never given me a black eye. I've never been in the hospital. That doesn't matter. It, it doesn't mean you won't be either. And it may, maybe he won't ever do it either, but it's, you know, verbal abuse is just as bad. It will make you go crazy. Trust me, I've been with someone that was like that. Ugh. Anyway, so another me, I just wanted to throw that in though, because that is one of the meanings of this. And um, for the, you know, there's always people in abusive relationships, and for, whether you're, whether it's your parent, whether it's your spouse, whether it's just a friend. I mean, you know, it comes in all forms, your boss. I mean, it could be a lot of different people, not just your boyfriend or girlfriend, but um, it's just more common with girlfriend, boyfriends, etc. okay? Or parent, child, okay? So another possible meaning here is that someone may be wanting to be too controlling and the other person is having to take on this other person's problems or that the normally strong person is prone to becoming more vulnerable to this chaotic, you know, this person's chaotic situation here. Even if there's no abuse going on, it's more like just whatever their problem is becomes yours. And that happens anyway. When you live with someone or you're married to someone, you do tend to take on their stress and their issues. And there's, it's not a, I'm not saying that that's bad because we all go through that. So that's normal, but it seems like it's more rapid, like it's more um, magnified this month. So um, be careful of that. Um, I do pick up that some of you may feel as if you are in a parent-child type relationship where one of you doesn't respect the other person and like you feel like they're treating me like a child and they're supposed to be my husband or my wife and they're treating me like a child or talking me down, you know? Even if they're not like this all the time, it's just maybe this month it's been that way. Another meaning um, is a child who may be rebelling against the over-controlling parent. You may wanna go back to my family category that I just talked about. Maybe this has something to do with it. Maybe that, maybe they are connected, okay? Really pay attention. Um, I could be wrong, but just saying. I feel like there has got to be more structure or this relationship can really suffer. So just be careful. Um, really, just really be careful how you handle things. You know, choose your choices wisely. Choose your battles wisely, okay? So, um, so we're gonna go to your advice, okay? Now, uh, the you know, whoa. No, I meant to say, we're gonna go to your unexpected this month. I'm looking at the wrong card. Okay, so the Eight of Swords reversed is your unexpected. So this is something that might happen unexpectedly that you're just, you know, it's no particular category. It's just something that also might come up um, and it could be re related to anything. I don't know which category it's related to. It's just the unexpected. So um, because it's reversed, this card reversed is really showing that a lot of you will free yourself. There will be a sudden or solution to your problem, okay? Whether you believe it or not, I feel like there will be some sort of reclaiming your personal power. Again, that's interesting, isn't it? Because go back to what I just said about your love and relationships category and, and your family now, maybe this is why, okay? Maybe you're taking your power back. You're taking your power back. Um, I feel like a lot of your negative thinking and victim mentality may soon end suddenly. So this is good. And you know, it's good that we're seeing this. And this also represents that your confidence may soon also resurface after a time of trouble and low self-esteem. Or maybe you will help someone with this issue. And that could be, by the way, I'll throw this in, that could be what's going on in the love and relationships. Maybe you're helping someone that's going through a abusive relationship or, or, or any of the other things that I mentioned because there's many different meanings, okay? So maybe you're helping them through this and this creates more confidence in yourself because, you know, after all, if you can help someone else, imagine what you can do for yourself. Yes, I went there. Okay, so for your advice card, 
We have the Ace of Wands. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense. I always get this often and the advice, and I shuffle for like 10 minutes. I wait till the cards pop out. <laughs> um, so as an advice card, I, I know, I feel like this card is saying, take this new opportunity. Listen to what this is saying. Now is your chance to be courageous, okay? I feel like it's saying you should really harness the energy that's available to you and really use it, okay? Focus on your goals, brainstorm of how to achieve it, but don't just imagine, try to actually do it this time, okay? And I know Aries, you have that in you to do it, so it's not like I have to really tell you that, right? <laughs> yeah, so just go for it, okay? I say that all the time with the Ace of Wands, go for it. Often, although I will say this, if there's something you're wondering about, should you or not, and if you're like, should I not do this, then this would also be saying, yes, don't do this. You know, maybe it's that too, but often this Ace is saying to, in general, act on what it is that you want, okay? It's time to make what you want happen. So, you know, choose your choices wisely and really try to, you know, embrace the new opportunities, embrace the change. And again, usually, I don't like to generalize Aries too much because again, it depends on your life path number. It depends on everything else. It depends on your astrology chart. I mean, everybody's a little different. So I don't wanna say Aries are just only like this. You could be on a cusp. That makes a big difference as well. So, um, but anyhow, um, just take this reading with a grain of salt, but you know, see if it applies to you and let me know if it comes true or has already happened. And again, thank you for listening to me. And I will see you guys on my next video.